Hello cool friends, it's me Raj and I'm back again with another video following up from my previous one So if you haven't watched that do watch those before coming to this one There's a whole series about my haircuts and whatnot. So let's just jump right into the video I'm gonna be using water leave-in conditioner and shea butter whip made by Raj my brand as well as Gorilla Snot gel This is not Gorilla glue. Okay, it's Gorilla Snot <laughs> So we're good to go so first begin by wetting your hair i know my haircut looks really funny like i explained everything in my previous video okay so yeah if you want to know why does this girl have this kind of haircut on her head there's a reason so check out my previous video so that's what the leave-in conditioner looks like so after spitting my hair with water i go in with the leave-in conditioner I'm actually starting this on freshly washed hair and oh yeah the leave-in conditioner smells really good it smells nice I take some shea butter rubber in the palm of my hands and then apply it to my hair So after that I'm detangling so typically I do not use a comb for my hair I usually finger detangle so because we are doing shing then you want your hair to be very well detangled like thoroughly detangled so that's why I'm combing through with this comb as always start from the ends of your hair and then work bit by bit to your roots okay please do not comb your hair from the roots up like your comb is gonna get stuck and it's gonna hurt your scalp and your hands it's just gonna be stressful so please start from the tip the ends of your hair and then work your way down once your hair is detangled you want to take a section like that I'm working in really small sections because I want the product to really get into my hair and this is what the gel looks like it's very gooey and uh, what, 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 what word can I use to describe it um, it's a thick consistency yeah <laughs> it's a thick consistency so you want to work it into your hair and you want to do like a raking motion so instead of you you know how a comb like goes through your hair right so your fingers now become the comb and then once the product is fully saturated in your hair you want to separate the hair individually okay i have some shingling tutorials on my channel but this one is like i want to go in detail for you guys because just to make it as beginner friendly as possible that's why i'm taking my time So that's what the hair looks like once it's all done of course it's not dry it's gonna take some time to dry and so moving on to the next section again take a little bit of hair okay and then work the gel into your hair so you rake it through detangle as you go along once you're done detangling or raking your fingers through then you want to separate it individually so if you compare the first section to this one I'm taking the hair much smaller right because I really want to have the ringlets and my coils defined so the bigger you take the hair the less definition you're gonna get because of our hair type like my hair texture is 4c hair my hair type sorry is 4c and so with 4c hair you need to like take your time and, and part the hair smaller so I can get the most definition out of it So continue and that's what it's looking like I know it's looking white yes but don't worry do not worry I got you guys step by step we're gonna go through it okay so I've done about what I think maybe like half of my hair now the bottom half the back half, should I say bottom half, back half. And yes, this process is very messy. So if you are someone who is like particular about getting your fingers messy and stuff like that, this may not be for you. But I mean something has to give, right? So just just do it and then you can wash your hands afterwards. I'm working on the front section of my hair now and you can see the clear difference in length, right? All the explanation to this 
is in my previous video okay so please <laughs> check the description box if it hasn't popped up on the screen already all the links will be in the in the description box so again section your hair apply the gel to your hair saturate it and then rake your fingers through then proceed to separate bit by bit On to the last section whoop 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 i think this took me because my hair is like short and um small right it took me probably about 30 minutes under 30 minutes i believe like it really did not take long to do this and even the drying process was much shorter than usual i guess you can say these are one of the perks of having short hair you spend less time styling your hair this hair has me feeling like a new woman honestly guys like it's so it's so unexpected well i think i've mentioned before that i wanted to cut everything off but then i said okay let me do this in stages and in phases so that's why i decided to go this route So same process until it's all complete. And we're all done. That is the last one. So now what I was trying to do here was to blend the back that is so short with the middle and the front of my hair. So then I teased the hair in the direction I wanted it to lie in. I wanted it to go towards like the front and side of my hair, which you guys will see or you've already seen like in the beginning of the video. So that's basically what I'm doing here. Ideally, I should have started from the front, but because I was doing a tutorial, I was like, okay, if I start from the front, I'm not going to see what I'm doing properly. So that's why I started with the back. But then if I, was, if I wasn't doing a tutorial, I most likely would have just started with the front because it's just me who's doing my hair, right? But because I'm doing this for you, I had to see what I was doing, had to be able to record, and my hair couldn't have been in my face while I was doing that, so I started with the back. I hope you guys get what I mean. <laughs> and yes, no ashy lips or ashy fingers in these streets, guys. Nope, Shea Butter Whip got you. You're gonna stay glowy and moisturized and oh so supple. Yep. <laughs> So as the hair was drying, I came on here to give you guys like an update kind of thing. I was feeling myself like, you know, I knew it was about to be bomb and so I was just ready for the dry hair. It's not 100% dry, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. So I guess I kind of saved the back, right? Mm -hmm. Even with going through this unplanned route of having some hair on my head, I'm really liking the look, right? I, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you go, girl. Love it. And that's some period. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So the hair is fully dried now. This is what it looks like. I went ahead and did my makeup off camera because this is not a makeup tutorial. It's a hair tutorial, but if you want to see the hair, if you want to see the makeup tutorial, definitely check my Instagram because it's over there. It's on my IGTV most probably, but if not, just go through my profile. You'll see it. You'll find it. So yeah. Oof, I need somewhere to go. Oops. I need somewhere to go. Can this lockdown be over? That's the finished look with nowhere to go. <laughs> How many of you do that? Like you dress up, do your makeup, and you're not going anywhere. <laughs> So yeah, let me just show you a close-up like of the hair itself. So it's fully dry. The hair is quite crunchy, but it's to be expected. The inside is not fully dry. Yeah, the inside is not like completely, completely dry. But that's what it looks like. If you guys can see, I hope so. Right. 
So if you've been looking for a way to define your hair, definitely give this a try. I think I finished the cut, right? What do you guys think? <laughs> Hello! So, for those wondering how I maintain the hair, when I'm going to bed at night, I use a satin bonnet, a Natural Sisters satin bonnet to be specific, to cover my hair at night, and then by the time I wake up, my hair is all squashed down. You know how natural hair is, right? Yes, like when you sleep, it's going to take that shape, right? Okay, so when I wake up, what I do is I take some shea butter, put it on my fingers, on my hands, and then I tease the hair out of that mold it's in, okay? And the reason I put shea butter on my hands is so that the hair is not frizzy. So because I put the gel inside, it's been about a week now. So this is it. If you're wondering why I'm also colorful, it's because it's Ghana Independence, it's Ghana's Independence Day today. So I don't know when I'm going to edit this video. I don't know when you guys are going to see it. But today is 6 March 19, <laughs> 6 March 2021. So yeah, this is, uh, it's a Saturday. And I decided to create this look. So yeah, so if you like it, check out my Instagram. I have the tutorial on there. All right, guys. Hello. So this is yet another look. What do you think of this look? I think I should just go ahead and edit this video so that it's not too long. But yeah, tomorrow is International Women's Day. Tomorrow is six. Tomorrow is eighth March, <laughs> two thousand and twenty. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what my mind is at, but I'm collaborating with some friends of mine in Malaysia, fellow beauty bloggers, and so yeah. Enjoy the content I have here on YouTube and also on Instagram. Bye! Happy International Women's Day! If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! God bless!